Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Technical Explained. In this lecture, we are going to study the monostable operation of triple five timer. So the monostable operation is also called the one shot or monostable multi vibrator. The monostable operation, as the name suggests, it has one stable state. Mono means one, so we have one stable state in monostable operation. In this case, the output of triple five type timer is in stable state. That is, it is in low state. But whenever trigger six signal is applied, the output changes from the stable state to unstable state. The output goes into the unstable state, which is a high state for a certain interval of time. And that interval of time is found out to be t high is equal to 1.11 r1 c1. Now, if you can have a look, this is our trigger signal. Normally, the trigger signal is high, but whenever we get the trigger signal to low. This is going to change the output of the triple five timer. So this is my trickle, trigger signal and this is at pin two. And this is my output of the triple five timer which is at pin three. So whenever uh, usually we are applying the uh, high uh, input at pin two. But whenever we uh, change the uh, input from high to low that is we apply a trigger signal the output of the triple five timer at pin three is going to change from low to high. This low is our stable state and this is our unstable state. So it is going to change from stable state to unstable state for a certain interval of time and that interval of time is equal to 1.1 R1C1. And, that, and then after this interval of time it will return back to its stable state. Now how to use the triple five timer in monostable operation. We know the pin diagram of the triple five timer. We have eight pins which are ground, trigger, output, reset, control, threshold, discharge and the supply voltage VCC. Now to use the triple five timer in, in monostable mode, we need to connect the discharge pin number seven and the threshold pin number six together. So pin number seven and pin number six are connected together. This is our one step. The second step is to connect a resistor R1 between the supply voltage, the supply pin number 8 and this pin number 6 and pin number 7 which are connected together. The third step is to connect a capacitor C1 between this pin number 6 oblique pin number 7 and ground. So if you can have a look over here, the first step was to connect the pin number 6 and pin number 7 together. So the pin number 6 and pin number 7 are connected together. The second step was to connect a resistance R, resistor R1 between the supply voltage pin which is the pin number 8 and this pin number 6 oblique pin number 7 which is also done. The third step was to connect a capacitor C1 between this pin number 6 oblique pin number 7 and the ground. So these three steps are done. Also VCC is connected to pin number 4 because pin number 4 is reset pin which resets the flip flop and the triple five timer and it is active low pin that is why it should be connected to high that is why during triple five operation it is connected to high which is the VCC. Also the pin number 5 is not in use so it is connected to the ground to this to some capacitor which is for example around 0 0.01 microfarad. Now let us understand the working of triple five timer as monostable multi vibrator. Now first step was to connect pin number 6 and pin number 7 together which are shown over here. Now resistor R1 is connected between the supply voltage VCC which is pin number 8 and the pin number 6 oblique pin number 7. And the capacitor C1 is connected between the pin number 6 oblique pin number 7 and to the ground. And also this reset is going to be connected to the VCC because it is active low pin. This pin number 5 is the control pin so it will be connected to the ground to a capacitor. And this capacitor is around 0 0.01 microfarad. Now let us understand the working of the triple five timer as a monostable multi vibrator. Now let us first assume that the output of triple five timer is in stable state that is the output is in low, in low state that is the output is in zero state. So initially assume that the output of triple five timer is in zero state. So this means this Q will also be zero and this Q bar is going to be one. And when this Q bar is going to one then this NPN transistor is going to act as a short circuit. So we are going to have a short circuit from here to here. Now initially assume that the capacitor C1 is uncharged. That is there is no charge across this capacitor. And when there is no charge across this capacitor, this capacitor is actually connected to the ground. So 
now we are going to have zero over here and when we have zero over here so at the positive terminal at this pin number six we are going to have zero over here and at the negative terminal we have the two by three vcc so the output of this is going to be zero and when the output of this is going to be zero the r will be r will be applied as zero now uh, if you look at the lower comparator initially the pin the trigger pin is at high voltage so initially we have applied vcc over here so initially we have high over here when we have high over here let's suppose we have vcc over here then again the negative terminal is at higher potential than the positive terminal so we are going to have zero over here and when both the r and s of the rs flip flop is zero if you can have a look over here then the output is going to remain unchanged so the output is going to remain zero and the q bar is going to be one and this will be and this process will be continue so the output in this case will be equal to zero so this is suppose my output at pin number three so output in this case will be zero and it will remain zero as long as i apply a high voltage now in the second step i am going to apply this trigger as soon as i apply this trigger when i apply this trigger that is when i push this button when i connect this trigger to zero that is to lower voltage then in place of this vcc we are going to have zero over here and when i have i have connected this to the ground we have zero over here this is going to be one and this is again this will be in the previous state which was zero so now we have s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 so this will set the flip flop and the output of the flip flop will now be 1 and this q bar is going to be 0 as the output of the flip flop is 1 so the output of the triple 5 timer will be 1 so initially before this trigger i have the output output of the triple 5 timer was at 0 and as as soon as i apply the trigger voltage the output has changed to the higher state so we have high state output uh, in this so as soon as i apply a trigger at the pin number two which is that i apply this push button and connect this trigger voltage to ground or to the low voltage apply zero over here the output has turned to high now when the output has turned to high the q bar will be zero which means that we are going to have zero at the base of this npn transistor and now this is going to act as an open circuit so now this will be connected from this circuit which means that now capacitor will start charging and now capacitor will start charging to this resistor r1 towards the vcc so and when this capacitor is charging the output again i have applied the trigger voltage and i have again i am going to return to my original high voltage so again i have i have returned to my original high i have returned over here which is high after applying the trigger voltage for a short moment of time i have returned to high but again i have this output of this triple five timer is going to be one so i have returned to high but the output hasn't changed to zero when this capacitor which is charging reaches the two by three vcc and becomes a bit greater than the two by three vcc that is we have if we have greater than some two by three vcc value over here then this zero over here is going to change to one and because i have returned to high over here so this will again will be high and this it will be zero again we are going to have r is equal to one and s is equal to zero now this is going to reset the flip-flop which means that at this point i am going to have zero over here and again the q bar is going to be one and when we have zero over here to so again this is going to the output of the triple five timer is going to return to zero again so this is how the triple five timer works in monostable operation and the time uh, interval for which this triple five timers remains high is equal to t high is equal to 1.11 r1 c1 so the r1 c1 de decides how much the output of the triple five timer will remain in high state will remain in unstable state thank you